Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf outside today at Les Bolson on the driving range with Mr. Jake Montgomery, Master Club Fitter at our Minneapolis store. And today we've got, I've got a Ping G430 Max 10K. This is actually my driver. Uh, but with today we're gonna experiment with the flat settings on the Ping Hosel. So um, Jake, could you kind of give the, because we always get a bunch of questions on YouTube, right? And we've got videos on the Hosel on YouTube and things, but Golfers trying to get clarity on what the flat setting is, what it even means. Yes. Uh, and so kind of talk to the viewers about that and mm -hmm. what the purpose is of the flat settings. Yeah, so the flat setting on a ping club is really just putting the toe down. Okay. When you move the toe lower to the ground, shots tend to go more to the right. For a left misser, like both of us, the flat setting can be very useful. Yeah. It helps make the face look a little bit more open at address. Your left miss won't be as dramatic. Um, they also do have a flat plus one, any flat minus one setting as well. So you can still change loft while maintaining that flat lie angle. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's really just to help avoid missing that half of the golf course. So what, in terms of the lie angle, when you mm -hmm. move it flat, how much flatter are you actually going? A couple degrees. Just a it's couple degrees? Okay. Degree and a half, I believe. Okay. Okay. So you, there is a change. It's not like you're mm -hmm. going from here to here. No, you're not going from yeah, okay. 60 to 55. Okay. So yeah, so this is going to be an interesting one. We're just, we're going to see how this goes. I'm mm -hmm. going to hit a couple with... Right now I've got it in the standard setting on the hosel, so yeah. just kind of that empty circle. Mm -hmm. um, just gonna hit a couple, get some sort of baseline numbers. My, As I've said, my miss this year with this driver has been left. Now, mm -hmm. Grant, I think my accuracy has improved a little bit. I mean, I'm hitting the fairway most of the time, yeah. but when I miss, it's left. And so I wanna see if I can maybe, the flat setting will help me out mm -hmm. on that. So it's Absolutely. a mini fitting slash exploring the flat settings, if mm -hmm. you will. So uh, I'm ready to get going here. Perfect, let's do it. All right, we'll get a couple numbers here just in the standard setting. Oh, I like that the wind just kind of died down. Yeah. Maybe that'll help me. There's the left miss. So that is what happens. Okay. And it's, I don't know what, it, I think it's something to do maybe with shutting the face. I don't know. Yeah, know, face angle uh, there was shut 6.3 degrees. Yeah, it's something to do, I don't know. It, it's. I got to get rid of that somehow. I, mean, I don't know if that if this if a flat setting helps that, but that is definitely the tendency. I miss left, and it's usually a long ways left. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little pull draw there. Yeah, still a little off the heel, but okay. That one straightened itself out at least. Yeah, just left half of the fairway. Pretty good ball there. Yeah, that one's better. All right, that one is just right of the center line. Got two balls left, one dead straight. Put it in the flat setting. Yeah. See how much it changes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely tell just yeah. setting yeah. it up. I was gonna say, how does that look? Just addressing the ball compared to before. Yeah, I can definitely tell just setting it up. It is. You mentioned the toe down is mm -hmm. kind of the change, and it definitely feels like a that toe is more down. Because I kind of like to. You know, like, especially like there are times I like to play a cut. Yeah. And when I do that, I sort of open the face, you know, what I dress, it feels like. But mm -hmm. it seems like it's almost kind of open already. Yeah. Absolutely. Is that how is that kind of yes, how Yes, that look? flatter setting does open the face up a little bit. Okay. Interesting. All right, I'll hit, that, hit another one here. Okay. Not that great. How much of a pull did that feel like? Felt like a lot. Yeah, it was about just as much as one of your just kind of little okay. left misses there. I think it took a lot of that hook off the ball. Cause it felt like, I mean, it felt like that classic shut the face left mm -hmm. feel there. Yeah, no, it did not look like I didn't hit it awesome by any hook. means, but. That's a pretty ball. Yeah. Yeah, that was right on the center line. Yep. One of the things I've decided to do too, if you haven't noticed on the club speed numbers, but I'm swinging smooth this year for yes. a reason. Um, I've, I was mentioned off camera to you, just like in the past, I've been gaining strokes via, I got the Arco stuff, mm -hmm. gaining a lot of strokes distance wise, but then I give them back when it comes to penalties or, or driving accuracy. So yep. trying to keep the ball in, the, in play a little bit more this year and it's working, especially with this club so far, but still want to get rid of that left miss. Mm -hmm. So that's another one that felt like it was shut, but yep. I, it seems like it's actually It's holding okay. its line a lot better. Yeah, I mean, that would, if you look here, that was 
barely left of the center line. Okay, on top yeah. One there. Yeah, that's. I'll take that. I mean, that. I mean, even just looking at where my my I'm lined up versus uh -huh. where. I'm, I mean, I'm still in play there at the yeah, very 100%. least. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll get one more here. That was launched. Kind of went after that one a little bit, and it uh, it paid off. Yeah, clubhead speed came way up. Yeah, I like that ball. And that fell just right at the center. Yeah, that was that high. It was a big high cut there. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. So it was 20 feet right at the center line. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that every time that's in the fairway. Absolutely. So, so if we look at our dispersion here, yeah. you'll notice a lot more concentrated center, if not just right. That there was our biggest pull miss. And oh, okay. It really didn't deviate yeah. too much. Though. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I like that a lot. So based on, again, because with the flat, you can go. Mm -hmm. You can go up or down a degree in loft too? Correct, yes. Okay. Is there, I guess as, as a fitter now, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm again, this is a smaller sample size, I know, but based on if you were to look at, say, height, launch, mm -hmm. things like that, would you change that for me or would you leave it? I would say your peak height's right at about 100 for the most part. Okay. I like that height for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, spin rate is, it appears to be mid to low 2000s as well. I mean, that's pretty much right where I'd want you okay. your club. Okay, so you wouldn't even adjust the loft no. on it? Okay. I think standard 90 degree just in the flat setting. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I might just actually stick with this because yeah. um, like I said, even, cause like I, this year it's weird for me. I, in the past, you know, years ago, my big miss was a big high slice, but it seems like this year has changed that. I think it might partially be, do it, be to do with me just like slowing down my swing a little mm -hmm. bit and kind of that shut tendency happens. Staying more within yourself. Yeah, yeah, but um, so I guess on a similar question, mm -hmm. sort of related, but how often do you use the flat setting for golfers? Like, I guess in, in a mm -hmm. sense, like, am I, am I a common occurrence in the fitting bay? Absolutely. I use the flat setting in ping quite a bit. It is more common to see a player that tends to miss right, in which case tailor-made Callaway have an upright setting, which yeah. helps shut that base. So it depends on a player's natural ball flight. But if someone misses left with a driver, the first place I'm going with Ping is because I can open that face up. Interesting. Okay, so like you think in a way that kind of gives Ping a nice little advantage almost on the players that that miss left in the sense of they have that hosel option right there for those. Golfers. Absolutely. For the people that overdraw the ball, Ping is a great option. Interesting. Interesting. Well, yeah, this was like I mean, it's as far from a tour van fitting yeah. per se, but I think I've kind of helped myself here a little bit in knowing that I'm going to go with this flat setting on this driver here, thanks to sort of the the data we've got today. And I think I'm gonna, it's gonna help me on the golf course quite a bit. Yeah, I'd love to see what the Arcos data puts back out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, thanks Jake for stopping by. This is again, very quick tune up here, but golfers, you can get a lot more than this in a tour van fitting uh, for a new driver. Again, I got a G430 Max 10K in the flat setting here. If you wanna experience a flat setting for yourself, stop into a store, get with someone like Jake. And uh, if you feel like you're missing left like I am, that flat setting can maybe help you out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So Jake, thanks for helping me out today. No problem.